and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Zombies add-on. So yeah, this is another add-on in the like, spooky month, spooky add-on for the spooky month. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this is going to be for, oh, at least, uh, hopefully it's going to be interesting at least. If it's not at least interesting, then it's not good. Maybe it might spook me a bit. Yeah, uh, this uh, this seems more like um. Oh, I remember the, I there was a zombie apocalypse mode on the uh, mod on the uh, bedrock uh, bit, uh, and basically you activated it. You had like I can't remember if you had like one day, and then uh, like the uh, and then after the sunset, then it was like. It didn't, no, I think that was something different. Uh, yeah, no, basically like every night, like massive hordes of zombies would uh, come and attack you. Also, I got everything fixed from last uh, review. Man's helped quite a bit. Anyway. Oh, I did not want to open the end chest. Oh, there. Oh, it's one of these. Also, I'm going to create it still. Again, game Zero. Oh, uh, I'm not going to bother reading my small text on this whole thing. Oh my god. So much nope here. Right, firstly, I don't like these books. Is it going to put itself back in my inventory? Nope, at least, it doesn't, at least it doesn't do that. But Oh my god, the text is so small. So you have to get like right up in it. Which would be easier if I wasn't on ice. Just to read or use a, a spyglass. So you got like standard zombies, inferno zombies, chill zombies, electric zombies. And that thing is covering the part of it. Then you got fungal and fungi, funglin. So it adds a bunch of new zombies. So let's uh, summon the standard zombie. Some stand zombie standard standard zombie punch it, it dies, it drops rotten flesh. Then there's the inferno inferno it shoots fire at you. So do they have, hold on a minute, give at P spy. Uh, this zombie likes, acts like normal, but when they're close, it will spit fire onto the ground, hitting all players nearby. So yeah, doesn't say if they have any special, uh, Spawning conditions. Uh, these dead cold zombies are only found in the coldest bounds will apply slowness onto the player upon attacking. So it's a chilly zombie. No, oh, no. Chill. Chilly. So it's all frozen and it slowed me. Oh no. Whatever am I going to do, bonk. Now, I can't help but notice these all drop rotten flesh. Do they only... Hold on, let me kill one with my sword as, like, uh, a ton of looting. Yeah, no. They all... They just drop rotten flesh. It would... So, it's a little bit annoying that they all just drop rotten flesh. Next. I didn't want to turn the page. No, and I can't turn it back, so I have to go all the way around. Right, so. Uh, then we've got electric Electrified Zombie. When the zombie is a player, he has a chance to strike the player with lightning. So, ele Electrified. Ooh. They do look cool though, at least.
He's not striking me with lightning though. Doesn't need to be rain. Oh uh, no, there we go. It's just quite rare. He's looking a bit mad here right now. I don't know. Maybe she's just tired. Anyway, fungal zombie one on hit. This zombie has a chance to pop the mushrooms off its uh, body and spawn minions, which are the, these little fungalins, I guess. Summoned in by the fungal zombie after being attacked, the uh, fungal minions react as a baby zombie from vanilla Minecraft. Great. There we hit. Wait, is it me getting hit or him getting hit? That does it. Hold on. I think it's. Let me just. Yeah. Oh, that one doesn't even. Uh, dro oh, yeah, it did drop a red mushroom. On hit, this zombie has. A, so, on hit, so. I guess that's when I hit him, so let me take off my arm and see if I can hit hit him a few times. Well, this one has an item. Uh, I just need to get rid of the effects. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You see, it popped off a little baby zombie. Ow. Okay, I'm going to get my armor back on now. It dropped something new. It dro uh, also drops both mushrooms. Uh, copper pipe. Eight attack damage. Well, that's more than a diamond sword. It only has 59 durability, though. Then we've got the armored zombie. These zombies have increased health and they hit harder. Along with taking less damage, uh, th anyone else. So I think that's supposed to be m taking less damage than anyone else. However, you are able to do more damage if you use the reinforced iron sword against it. So can I craft that? We. Yeah, reinforced iron sword, six attack damage, it's an iron sword, two iron ingots, and an oak and two oak planks. They're not super expensive. So what was this guy called again? Uh yeah, shulker box. Armored zombie. It is a big guy. Apparently, he does a bunch of damage. I went there because I can't take damage, and I one shot him. Pretty sure. Right, so uh, zoom in. Oh, a zombie! When players get near this creature, it will screech and inflict nausea on nearby targets. So this one's going to be horrible to be fed against. How? You're gonna howl. You're gonna do the one thing you're supposed to do, the what the thing you're named after. You want a book? No. Oh there we go. Yeah, it gives you nausea. And now I punch him. The nausea didn't even last long. Next up we have the Crawler. This little bundle of joy will run up on players and slam attacks when near. So you crawl. This is a dog. Not, why is it called a Crawler? It's basically a 
like bulldog as a zombie. Next up we have the bloater. When the players are near this giant gym emitter, it will fire off poisonous spore clouds around itself. So bloat. Boomer. There's no bloater. What? Hold on. Game mood one. But the ah at. What weird. So apparently, in like the summoning menu, it'll be called something else. I don't know why. So yeah, it spews out poisonous spores. Doesn't drop anything special. Next up is the Boomer. This zombie has a more health and attack damage, but upon death he explodes like a creeper. Uh, there are currently 13 mobs to fight. So let's summon the Boomer. Actually, let's summon the boomer away from everything that I don't want to get exploded. Uh, let's take you up here. Really wish the flying on these suits was better. And I'll keep mentioning that until the day they update it to be better. Anyway. So boom, boomer. He, he's big. Apparently, does more damage and has a has more health. And when he dies, he goes boom. Yeah, he didn't actually destroy that much stuff. This is not a massive explosion. Uh, let's try it on grass because I know stone has a higher uh, blast resistance than grass. So, uh, let's go up here. Eh, yeah, it's not massive. It's not as big as a creeper, but... Yeah, not super small, so it's not too bad. Also, if it uses a TNT explosion and our creeper explosion... And it should drop 100% of the uh, stuff it blows up. Like, you know, as items. So that would be good. I should have checked that when I was there, but oh well. Next up we have... Hold on. Uh, the Dreadlord uh, Sigil. It's four rotten flesh, three bones, and a diamond. If you're itching for a real fight, craft the uh, dread, dread, dreaded sigil. This uh, item is used to summon the one and the only dreadlord. A powerful boss that will test you on your combat skills to use, hold, and interact. Button. Hold the interact. So, it was the dreadlord sigil. Give. Let's be good. So you press and hold right click and it like throbs in your hand and it summons him. Oh wow, he survived a hit, a punch. But now I'll stab him. Yeah, that's actually pretty really strong because I have uh, a bunch of strength. It doesn't show there, there properly, but this does like a bunch of damage as well. 
Uh, it does 27 attack damage, and then with my strength it does more. Yeah, it would actually be an actual threat. And he has to help us. Gem shards. So... Uh, you can craft Apocalypse Armor. Uh, the ultimate zombie, they can uh, spawn the Dreadlord through the Sigil. Also, the uh, unique ability to regain health through other mobs around it, including vanilla mobs. He has two types of melee attacks, each have varying values of attack, so make sure to watch out for that. When I have health, he will raise his sword up, uh, regenerate to steal and life from nearby enemies. On death, Federal will drop gem shards and item to craft this unique weapon. So if I just go in here and I put in craftable, yeah, you can craft his blade, it does 11 attack damage, 2 iron, 2 iron flesh sticks, and 2 gem shards. Then you can craft the apocalypse armor. Uh, this uh, section covers how to craft a unit. Along with new zombies, you can also scavenge weapons to use a new set of armor. It has the same amount of protection and durability as diamond armor. So this is just basically diamond armor. So I, I'm gonna go to game mode one and get it. Game mode one. Uh, pop. Yelm Legs Chest plate and boots. It's kind of a mishmash of different things. So you got like a American football helmet, you've got like street sign and a like pothole man cover manhole cover or something. Uh, on your shoulders, like your legs look like some like kind of military gear, and your feet. I don't even know what the boots are. Yeah, and, uh, and let me give myself a diamond sword because I think that's the end of this. I know there's some other stuff, so actually, yeah, I'll use a copper, uh, the copper pipes, but yeah. You got the reinforced sword, you can craft the copper pipe that I got with uh, in copper ingots and uh, two sticks. You got the spore tosser, this item can be used to toss spores that will explode on impact. They will let off the same explosion as a blaster zombie. So let's get to a spore. Spore. I don't know what that noise was. Anyway, I'll place it down here. No, oh, you don't place it, you throw it. You okay? Doesn't do a digger very big hole. Anyway, that's enough there. Uh, oh, where did I get that always from? Oh, I need it. Uh, in this. Where are we having? Yeah, okay. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. Then we got the fire boots. Uh, these boots uh, light light blocks beneath the river on fire and gives them fire resistance. I don't know why you'd want that. Reinforced shield. Reinforced shield allows the user to charge up a rush attack while sprinting. When fully charged, it will cause the target to, with it to fly into the air. However, using it for too long will penalize a holder for a short time. 
And you got the uh, Dreadlord's Blade that, we, that I showed off earlier, and that's the end of it. Okay, so. Uh, so let's get uh, another one of these. Actually, I could just get a second spawn Dreadlord's Lords. Right, let's uh, go to Game Radio, though. Hold on, let me get uh, a. Uh, Get some totems on dying. Game zero. So I just whack. Came away. Yeah, I'm not really trying to like dodge his attacks, I'm just. Oh! Well, that broke really quick. Oh my god, he only just. Kill me through the jumpdom. Okay, let me just give myself a diamond sword. Give at P diamond sword. There we go. I don't know how he's supposed to dodge his attacks, is it? Okay, that was... Okay. Yeah, he's getting his second health bar. I'm just gonna lash on the carrot. Oh, I'm a bit low on health. I could just uh okay, you can't really just like run at him and alright, oh, because he's just gonna attack here. Get ready get his attack ready when you're on your way to attack him. This is a bit difficult, but overall he's not really that difficult because I only popped two totems on the first toad, well, three totems, technically. So. Oh, here we go. He summoned zombies. There's someone new. Oh, does this heal him? No, it doesn't. I mean, it should because it's instant damage. And uh, instant damage should heal undead mobs. And instant health should damage undead mobs. So I don't know, I don't know, uh, I, this isn't the only add-on that I've seen that uh, has this problem. But yeah, if you just have a decent crossbow, you can kill him quite easily. Yeah, no, that wasn't really that difficult. Apocalypse boots. I made it more difficult by just stabbing him with a sword. I should have just shot him with my crossbow a bit. All you really need to do is like, get to like some decent armor, get a crossbow with like a uh, quick draw, um, quick charge, piercing. And all that, and then get some instant damage at two arrows, which is quite easy to get in bedrock because all you need to do is put three potions into a instant damage potions into a cauldron, and then right click that with a stack of arrows, and you've got a stack of instant damage arrows. Um, which again isn't too difficult, and yeah, just shoot him a bit, just stay out of his attack range, and yeah. So that was disappointing. I was hoping it would actually be a decent challenge. Oh well. Uh, oh yeah, I don't. Take that off. But yeah, the cool add on. Oh, I forgot I was in survival. Anyway, uh, it's a cool add on. Uh, my only real. Yeah, so, you know, just add some cool new zombies. 
Um, you know, it does add some cool new zombies and stuff, and some cool new items. Uh, but it's not really, doesn't really make the game that much different. I guess like the new zombies will make it more difficult in the earlier game, but I re I killed that uh, boss zombie, which is like the most powerful zombie in the game without much trouble, really. But again, I did pop some totems, so I could have avoided that if I, if instead just whacking him with a sword, I just kept my distance and shot him with my crossbow. Uh, so yeah. Not super difficult. What is the difficulty? Dif difficulty. Oh, I thought if you did that, it would just tell you what difficulty. But I'm pretty sure this is on hard difficulty. Settings. Game. Yeah, difficulty hard. So. Yeah, it's not really a difficult add on, but it does add some cool looking new zombies, zombie types and stuff. So yeah, uh, hopefully this guy, this has helped you guys figure out whether or not it's worth your money and you want to pick it up or not. Hope you guys all did enjoy. If you want to join the Discord, link is down in the description. It's entirely free to join. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.